Master of the World is a 1961 science fiction film based upon the Jules Verne novels Roba the Conqueror and its sequel, Master of the World. The movie was written by Richard Matheson, directed by William Whitney, and features Vincent Price, Charles Bronson, and Henry Hull. American International Pictures released the film as a double feature with Conga. Topic. Plot A man known only as Robert Price, shoots down and takes on board his flying ship Prudent Hull, his daughter Dorothy Webster, her fiancé Evans Frankham, all of whom were exploring a volcanic crater in their hot air balloon, along with U.S. government agent Strock Bronson, who had hired them to look for evidence of an eruption. The supposed eruption was caused by Robo working on his airship, who had also inadvertently broadcast a biblical passage over a voice amplifier, stirring religious fears among the citizenry of the nearby town. Roba has been traversing the globe in his airship, the Albatross, with a goal of forcing peace on the world by virtue of his superior military capabilities. He has a loyal crew of like-minded, equally fanatical idealists. The captives learn how his ship operates, and about his technical advances, including generation of electrical power by crossing lines of magnetic force, presumably created by the Earth's own magnetic field. The captives wish to escape, but don't fully trust Strock, who appears at times to side with Roba. After saving Evan's life, Strock explains that his oath of loyalty to Roba was insincere, and that as a captive, he feels no compunction to behave as a gentleman. Roba proceeds to destroy various nations' means of making war, but a desert conflict wounds Roba and damages the Albatross. After the airship succeeds in escaping and Roba recovers, the ship anchors at an island for repairs, where the captives rig the armory to explode. All escape down the anchor line except Strock, who follows while being shot at by the crew. First Strock, then Evans, work at cutting the anchor line, finally releasing the airship, which is damaged beyond repair moments later when the gunpowder explodes. Rober orders his crew to abandon ship, but they choose to ignore his final order, and gather in his quarters while he reads from Isaiah chapter 2 verse 4 the well-known, "...swords into plowshares," passage, reminding them of their pledge to try to rid the world of war. The ship, along with Rober and his crew, crashes into the ocean and explodes, while the captives watch, injured but alive, from the shore. Topic Cast Topic Production The film was an attempt by American International Pictures to create a prestigious epic adventure along the lines of Around the World in 80 Days, 1956. While it boasted a larger cast and more location work than was then the norm for AIP, it was the studio's biggest budget picture to date. It still utilized stock footage, including the opening miniature shot of Elizabethan London from Laurence Olivier's Henry V as a stand in for Victorian London, with the airship Albatross superimposed over the top. Additional scenes of the Albatross destroying both sides in a naval engagement are created in the same manner, with stock footage borrowed from the Battle of Trafalgar scenes at the end of the film That Hamilton Woman. 1941. The script combined elements of both of Jules Verne's novels, Roba the Conqueror and its sequel, Master of the World. Roba, genius, inventor and, in this instance, creator of the powered heavier-than-aircraft albatross, with his hand-picked crew, chooses to use weapons of war to force the governments of the world to lay down their arms and live in peace. The special effects crew included Hua Chang and Jean Warren. It was originally announced that Price's co-star would be Mark Damon, his co-star from House of Usher. Shortly thereafter, Damon was replaced by David Frankham. Henry Hull came out of retirement to appear in the cast. Vincent Price is reported to have considered the role of Roba as one of his personal favorites. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proposed sequel. According to Filmfax magazine, a sequel to Master of the World, to have been called Stratophene, was considered by AIP. A concept model of the Terra, Roba's new land sea air vehicle, was built. The article included a picture of the model, which did not survive. The film, however, was never made, reportedly due to the manner in which Richard Matheson and his cohorts combined various Jules Verne story elements from both Roba novels for Master of the World, which would have caused insurmountable continuity problems from the first film to the second. <laughs> 